Don't get our hallways. Our hallways are ugly. Huh? They should be in like green. Oh. Not even green. Blue. What's up everybody, welcome to the vlog. Right now we are just walking our dogs. It's around, what time is it? Like eight? It's like eight o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go, gonna go to hit to the gym. Hmm. Why does that still do it? Back up. Hey bro. That's one thing about the ornaments, man. They protect them on a leash, but they'll cut it with you in bed. Put that in, but huh? cut out the part where you're holding them up. <laughs> Oh, are you choking him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll cut that. Oh, shit. I thought, I was like, damn it, there's another dog. <laughs> he just back home. Did I already say we we're going to hit shoulders? No. I didn't? Oh, okay. I'm going to say it right now. Yeah. We're going to go work out. Huh? Yeah, I got a poopy bag. Yeah, we're about to go work out. We're going to hit some shoulders. I'm going to show you three movements that y'all can incorporate into your workouts. Things. What? Incorporate? That's what I said, right? He said incorporate. Incorporate. In what? Incorporate. 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 Go to the camera. Incorporate. <laughs> yeah, what she said. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. And um, here you go. And I'm gonna show you three movements. Oh, it smells one. like shit. Huh? It smells like shit. I know. <laughs> three movements, one for the front delt, one for the medial delt, and one for the rear delt that I preferably like to do and that's helped me build up my shoulders because they used to be a weak point on top of my chest but right now we're just walking with dogs. We already took some pre-workout, some ghosts and so yeah, that's what we got going on right now. So I'm gonna keep walking. Did you stop walking again? He likes to stop when people sit high. He gets shy? That's no, why? he gets like, he wants to say hi and then he'll just sit <coughs> because I'm like, no. Look, I'll say hi to the camera. What's that? What's he got there? Oh shit. Go. <laughs> Where are you going? My legs are like super sore right now because I hadn't hit legs in like two weeks. Yeah. It's like yellow. I feel like it's the full studio up in this bitch. Yeah man. Huh? Yeah. Cool. I already started. Oh you did? Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Hi right, guys, we're just walking up to the gym right now. We're working at the apartment gym today because we're too lazy to drive to the, the actual gym. So, which is kind of ironic because we're gonna go work out. What? Oh, there's a white woman who take their job seriously. Sure. Yo, where are the, oh, here they are. I had just gotten the bar from right there. So I thought those were handles, but they're, those are not handles. These are safety bars. Um, so. The first exercise that we're gonna do is gonna take care of the front delt, and it's a, did I say that right? Front delt? Yeah. yeah. Delt. And it's a compound movement for the shoulder. Um, not a lot of people do it, but I think it's very beneficial, especially, especially if you're trying to build up your bench press. Um, I recommend doing like the front delt work, so. Let me go ahead and set this up real quick. All right, so now we're just gonna do a quick um, couple warm-ups just until we can get up to our working set. We're gonna do four sets total, and we actually, I, I preferably like to do supersets, so I'm gonna do one thing on top of this, back to back, so I either might do some rear delts, or, yeah, you, you'll see in the video. Well, you'll see what I do. So, first warm up. All right guys, so the very first exercise that we got here, this is the first working set. I am doing 135 pounds. And you know, like with these kind of movements, compound movements where you're involving a whole bunch of different muscle groups at the same time, um, you wanna really make sure that you warm up properly. So you notice there, like I did about three warm ups before I even got to this actual working set. And I like to keep my rep ranges around eight to 12, unless it's a strength day. Um, which is like every other week, but other than that, um, this is hypertrophy week, so I'm going for about 8 to 12, 
and notice I'm not using any leg drive or any momentum it's all strictly shoulders so just keep that in mind Yeah. All right, so right after those those overhead military presses, we're gonna do some rear delt flies, just kind of like bent over forward. So 10 to 15 reps, go ahead and watch. All right guys, so exercise number two, we got a dumbbell rear delt fly. And usually I like to do machine flies, but I'm very limited at this gym, the apartment gym. So that's what we got going on here. And the reason for supersetting is because shoulders is a very small muscle group, so you can kind of work around and, you know, be back to back a lot because it's not, it's not very taxing to the body. And, you know, if you have the cardiovascular system for it, then go ahead and just knock it out. So four sets of 10 to 15. All right. So next superset, this is our second superset. We're gonna take a break from the compound movements and we're gonna do some isolation work. So we're gonna hit the medial delt right here. And my preference is I like to get the kettlebells because it puts more emphasis on the muscle that I'm trying to hit, which is the medial delt, right? And um, also my wrists are pretty skinny and they kind of hurt sometimes when I do it with dumbbells. So this is just one of the ways to, you know, just target the muscle a little bit more effectively. On top of this, we're doing 10 to 15. We're gonna come over here and you'll see in the next clip, but we're gonna do some reverse cable crossovers. So basically we're still gonna target that rear delt. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this rear delt right here. So we're gonna come out this way and you know, just get like about 10 to 15 reps. So let's go ahead and get this one in. It's a good light. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so superset number two, right here the first exercise we got is a kettlebell lateral raise. And like I mentioned earlier, um, I don't like to do dumbbells as much because they hurt my wrists just a little bit. But honestly, it's just depending on how I feel that day. And you know, the kettlebells itself, they do hit um, the medial delt pretty well in a specific way. So I highly recommend you do them. I did learn them from Alberto Nunez. He's a 3D m &J, um, uh, coach. And he's very respected in the bodybuilding industry, so I highly recommend you go check him out. Um, second exercise right here. So I know I gave these a wrong name earlier, but um, I really like these because they hit the rear delt very, very well. And like I said earlier, I'm very limited at the, this apartment gym. So that's why I decided to knock these out instead um, for the second movement for my rear delts. And that's what we got going on. A little higher. There you go. Like your back has to be flat on the floor. I bet so. It doesn't matter. This is all for your, your hands straight down. Side by side. Okay. Your leg straight. Hold the ball. Not, you don't have to use it. Just like balance. Give me your feet. Let, let, let. Oh my god. The boys are so stupid. <laughs> okay. Bring your feet. Like, just hold the ball. By your feet. Okay, now crunch. Here, put your head down. Crunch. Crunch inside? Like, kind of like if you're doing a reverse crunch. Do it for 10. Mm -hmm. You don't crunch your upper. Yeah. Now that I know what to do, I want to try them again. <laughs> so never say my workouts are easy. <laughs> my legs are sore. So are mine. Six. Seven. One. I think I'm going to do these. Eight. 
Am I doing it right? Try your legs more. Try your legs more. Nice. One more? I think I like that. You want me to show you some ab exercises? Alright guys, so the last superset that we're going to do for our shoulders, we're going to do one more front delt exercise and one more medial delt exercise. So the front delt, we're going to do some just alternating lateral raises, or take that back, alternating front raises, and then we're going to go to, actually I'm going to mix it up a bit. We're going to grab a dumbbell this time, and we're just going to hang on the, on the side of this, and we're just going to raise one arm at a time to hit that hit that medial delt just a little bit more. So go ahead and watch the video and the, what do you call it? <laughs> Can't catch my breath. The, the last and final uh, exercise that I really like the most that really helped me develop my, my shoulders was the medial delt. So that's the one that we're doing right now. So you're gonna say so a lot, right? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Let's chill. What? <laughs> you gotta keep it raw, dude. It's raw. Oh, my shoulder hurts. <laughs> Why? Not like it's just sore. I'm very sore. Huh? I feel sore. Oh. This is the first one. Alright guys, so that's it for the shoulder workout. Now we're just gonna finish off with some abs. And um, basically what I like to do, we do, um, so I like to target the lower abs first because those are kind of hard to like develop. So we're gonna do five sets. What are you laughing? Uh, five sets. And you wanna really control it. You're about to see a demonstration real quick after this. And I like to superset that with an upper exercise for the upper abs. And I'm gonna go do that over there on that decline uh, bench right over there. And that's gonna just target the upper abs. You get it. <laughs> I just caught you like staring at him like Mm-hmm.
They're big. Got to feed. Got to feed the. Got to feed the pups. <laughs> All right, guys. So for post-workout meal, this is angel hair pasta with just some 90/10 ground beef and some, you know, pasta sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I appreciate y'all for watching the video. I hope you got some tips from the workout itself. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.